Hello everyone, you are welcome to today's class. In this class, we'll be looking at rational and uh, irrational numbers. But before we look at rational and irrational numbers, so we first need to look at what are natural numbers and what are integers. So, understanding of this, we need us to understand what rational numbers are and what rational numbers are. So firstly, natural numbers, when we talk about natural numbers, we are talking about numbers, uh, counting numbers. Counting numbers are numbers that we can use to count items. Like what we have, we have three markers. So one, two, three. So counting numbers are a rush. natural number. Natural number are counting numbers. So natural number. Natural numbers are counting numbers. Counting numbers. So we ask the counting numbers that is, for example, e.g., 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 0 is not a natural number. It's not, we can use 0 to count. But 0 is a digit that we can put at the end or at the middle of digits to form a number, to form a natural number. But standing on its own is not a natural number. But we can use to count. We cannot say zero pen, zero marker. No, it doesn't make sense. Right? So that is why it is not a natural number. So it is a digit. Please take note of that. Then integers. Integers are both positive and negative natural numbers. Now we have listed out natural numbers now. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, as well as 4. So the, it's positive and it's negative are uh, integers plus 0. So 0 will be added to it to form into 0 is an integer, is a digit. But it's not a natural number. Please take note because I'm emphasizing that. So integers are both positive integers here. Integers are both positive. Positive are both positive and negative natural number. Natural what? Numbers. We know what natural numbers are. And what and zero. So example are uh, minus three, minus two, minus one, zero, one, two, uh, three, four, and so on. So, so these three dots means we still have some numbers before it, and these three dots means we still have some numbers after it. So these are integers. So integers can also be referred to as whole numbers, as whole numbers. So that is that and that. So be able to do those things to natural numbers and the word integers. So the next stage now is uh, to look at rational numbers. So rational numbers, rational numbers. So when we talk about natural, rational, rational numbers, rational numbers, we are trying to look at numbers that can be expressed as a ratio of two integers. As a ratio of what? Two integers. Two integers, whether positive or negative natural number. So that this, they can be expressed as a fraction. So. Rational numbers are numbers that can be expressed. Let me write that. The rational numbers are numbers. These are numbers. These are numbers that can be expressed. Expressed as a ratio of Two integers. Two integers. That is, 
I think as a fraction, the Gavia space as a fraction such as A divided by B. Where A and B are integers. Right? But B must not be equal to zero. So B, the B denominator must not be equal. That's what I'm trying to say here. So B must not be equal to what? Zero. Now, let's now look at examples of rational numbers. So the first example, I'm going to give you about six examples here. The first examples of rational numbers are pro proper fraction. Proper fractions. You know what proper fractions are? Fractions like 2 over 3, 3 over 5, 2 over 7. All these are proper fractions. All these what this one is all, all, all of them are rational numbers, right? Good. The second one is improper fraction. Improper fractions are also what? Rational numbers. So we have just change this on 3 over 2, 5 over 3, 7 over what? 2. Then the third one is mixed number. Mixed numbers, mixed numbers. So all of these mixed numbers is one over number one over two, one over number two over three. You can see still the same thing. This once if this improper fraction it also requires to have mixed number. I hope you know that. So this will be what two number, or three over number, one over two. So these are examples. So the next one is number four. All integers, all integers, all integers, all integers here includes. I've explained what integers are. That is, you have minus two, minus one, zero, one, two, and so on and so forth. Right? All integers are rational numbers. Right? Then the next one is the next one is terminating decimal. Terminating decimals. Terminating decimals. So terminating decimals are decimals that you get a, a, a you get a particular value, such as 0 0.5, 0 0.72, 0 0.578. That's all. Right? That is one. Now is recurring decimals. Recurring decimals. Recurring decimals. Recurring decimals are decimals that will be repeating itself. It will be repeating. So the number, the, the decimals, the DG to be repeating itself. So we can have 0 0.2. 2, 2, 2, it will continue like that. Or you have 0 0.12, 1, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2. You must have come across this. All these ones are what? Under what? Rational numbers. I think another one, the last one here is uh, square root of, square root, square root of, Perfect square. Perfect square. So indirectly here yeah, we're talking about uh, integers, right? Indirectly. So square root of perfect squares. Perfect squares are are numbers that its square root will give you a whole number. An whole number is an integer. Is that clear? So so for example you have square root of four. Square root of 4, e.g. square root of 4, right? Square root of 16, square root of 25. All these one you can have it in question. Square root of 36. All of them are under what? Rational numbers. 
How is this explained? So let me explain the board, then move to irrational numbers. All right, irrational numbers now. So irrational numbers are numbers that can't be expressed as ratio of two integers. Don't forget, other rational numbers, rational numbers are numbers that can be expressed as ratio of two integers. So for this one, we can't express it so as ratio of two integers. So rational, irrational, irrational is something as non-rational. So irrational numbers. What? Irrational numbers are numbers that can not be expressed as a ratio of two integers. Right? So if that is the case, if this we can have this to be A over B, right? So let's now look at examples of irrational numbers. So the first example I'll give here is square root of this opposite of this one, square root of prime number. Square root of prime numbers. Square root of prime numbers such as what are prime numbers? Prime numbers are numbers that can be divisible, that can only be divisible by itself and one. That is, prime numbers are numbers that have two factors. Those two factors, right? They are numbers that have those two factors. So in that case, so we have two is a prime number. Square root of two, square root of two is, is an example of irrational number. So this is this leads to uh, a topic that we first are solved. So which is the next topic we're going to be treated. If you are in SS3, right? If you're in SS3, this is what you're going to treat after talking about rational and rational numbers. But if you are not in SS3, you are in GS2, GS3, thereabout, you're going to stop at this stage. So you will not, you not go beyond this. You're not going to uh, solve. So this is root 2 is prime number, then root 3, root 5, root 7, root 11, and so on and so forth. All these are irrational numbers because all of them are prime numbers. Right, good. So actually I've explained in details different types of numbers that we have. We've talked about, I talked about natural numbers in details, I talked about integers, I talked about uh, prime numbers. I also talked about uh, I talked about integers and some other parts. So you can check one of the videos in the channel. You see there. I talked about everything to so get better understanding on this. So that's the first part. Two is five, five, which is written as this. Five, five is irrational numbers. You know the value of five is uh, twenty-two. 22 over 7. So it will be what we'll be asking. What we well, said that uh, improper, this is improper fraction, right? Good. We said improper fraction is under rational number. And pi is also improper fraction, right? But if you look at this one, <clears throat> this, if you use calculator to divide this, you are not going to get a decimal that will be terminating decimals that will also be recurring decimals. So it should be not terminating. The figure, the digits will continue, continues. It continues its infinitesimal. That's not end. That is why pi is not a rational number. Uh, it is what? A rational number. So pi is a rational number. So that is that. Then the third one is I've already I've mentioned it. The opposite of terminating decimal. So it will be what? Non-terminating decimal. Terminating decimal. Decimals. So non-terminating decimals are the ones that we be uh, we have three point four one nine two three four and it continues it. You want to see a number uh, when you have decimal that continues on your calculator, that number is what? Non-terminating what? Decimals. And the last one is 
the opposite of recalling. Recalling repeating itself, right? Recalling, it won't be recalling. It will be recalling decimals. So non-recurring decimals. Non-recurring. Non-recurring decimals. So non-recurring decimals are decimals that will not be repeating itself. You have something like this. We. It is. Let me differentiate between terminating and non-recurring. So it is not terminating. This is not terminating and it is recurring. So in self right, we have 1.3, just like this one, 4, 2, 1, but it's continuous. But the way when it's continuing, the number are not repeating itself. It is not terminating, non recurring. See, they said this one is not terminating, non recurring. Not terminating, non recurring. So it continues like that. So that is. The examples of irrational numbers. So, in this class, we'll be able to uh, do justice to what we have as our objective. We talk about natural numbers, integers, rational, and uh, irrational numbers. So, this is where we're going to stop in this video. Uh, so, in the next video, if you're in SS3, so you can check uh, this topic list to sort and um, be able to understand it through this. So, be able to undo all these songs, we call them on sort. So, S U R D. So, this is where we're going to stop. If you find this video useful, uh, kindly give us a big thumb up and then subscribe if you have not subscribed. Uh, share the video with your loved ones and we meet in the next video. Bye for now.